Now, I know y'all heard this many a times before, but some people need to hear this like from a tough love point of view. Get comfortable being uncomfortable. All the shit that you dream of, all the shit that you really want happen, you really want to happen in your life, it's not going to happen still stuck in that fucking comfort zone. You got to get off your ass and put in the work. There's times you might be fatigued to the point where, like, it, it can get excruciating sometimes that you still got to get up and put in the work. But listen, yo, challenge yourself every fucking day. Get, do anything that you have to do to get out of that comfort zone. Because that shit is the killer of dreams. Trust me when I tell you this. You got to always challenge yourself. Always, man. You don't want to be steady stuck in the same thing. Because then after a while, you'll get too fucking comfortable. And then when the challenge come, you start to quit. Nah. Nah, we ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. The opportunities are fucking endless out here. They're endless. You can do anything you want to do. You could be sitting on your ass doing what you love at home and get paid for it. It's that fucking easy now, man. The only thing you got to do is just get off your ass and do something. Period. Time ain't going to wait for no fucking body. So is it you want to be sitting here using time wisely or you want to be... Wasting like a motherfucker. Because God forbid, you're going to be one of those older folks out on the street probably begging for money, not knocking no homeless, you know. But those people that just, those people that got all the stories, but nothing to show for. All the stories in the world, but nothing to show for it. Man, I had this when I was back in the day. Man, I had all this money. I had all that. Where is it now? You got comfortable in the lifestyle, yes. But what was your comeback into building that back up? Some people, I'm too old or, or I'm too this or I'm too that. Now, if you got a medical disability, I give you that. But there's people that got disabilities and like like all kinds of stuff going on with them, but they still get the fuck up and do something. They still get up and do something. You know one of my one of my most favorite role models? I forgot what his name was, but do you got half his torso, but he wrestled? And he killed it. Yes, he got discriminated against, you know, because he had half a torso, but he fucking killed it. And he's still killing it to this day. To this day. C.T. Fletcher is another one. Man, it's like, I get older, I want to be just like him. But like him, Mike Rasheed is another one, 19 Keys. I want to be like them brothers. I want to be like them brothers. Mr. Organic. I want to be like them brothers. That's just the name of few. Because I listen to their podcast a lot. But, um... It's like... They've been through their hardships and they got the fuck up and got it done. With C.T. Fletcher, though... Of course, a lot of y'all probably don't know his story, but he had heart surgery. You know, died three times. Three times on the table. But you see him still here. Still got the same passion like he did back then. And he's not one of them older guys that be like, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I did. He, I mean, he tell the story, but he can still show for what he's doing. He's still doing it. He's still doing it. Yes, he's an older gentleman. 
But so what? He's still doing it. And y'all still probably in this comment sections talking shit about his form, about what he's doing wrong and a whole nine, but he's still doing it. Y'all got to get out y'all comfort zone, man. If there's anything that y'all want to do, start on building it right now, man. Plant them seeds. If you got a YouTube channel you want to start, start it right now. If you got a business that you want to start, start putting forth the effort to building that business or the blueprint. And yes, it might not happen tomorrow. It might not happen the next day. It might not happen a year from now. It might not happen two years from now. But you got the blueprint and you keep going forward to it. Man. It can it can be it can be frustrating sometimes. Like me myself, I know I fuck up. I fucked up plenty of times back then, but it's that passion now. Like I'm tired of being a fucking I'm tired of like not being where I wanna be. It's not, it's not the impatience. It's just the fact that now I'm putting in the work to get to where I want to be. That passion in my heart now, man. I know I'm going to get to where I want to be. And some people mistake ambition for cockiness. Like you being cocky saying that you're going to be the best at this or you're the best at that. you fucking right. I got to be my biggest hype man before anybody. You got to speak life into yourself. I'm going to be my biggest hype man. Hashtag that. Be your biggest hype man. Get out of your comfort zone. Talk to yourself. There's nothing wrong with talking to yourself. Like you already know. You already know that you're supposed to be doing something different. Because that voice in your head. That God inside you always talk to you. Like, look, you know you're supposed to be doing this, right? Nah, I'm going to do it tomorrow. Or I'm going to do it later. Or I'm going to do it another day. Like, you know, like, you talking about doing this, you got to get on. Like, no. Nah. I check myself all the fucking time lately. You know you're supposed to be doing these videos. Nah, I'm going to do them. Nah, fuck that. We doing them now. You know you're supposed to be doing this workout. Nah, I don't fucking feel like it. Nah, nah. Get your ass up and let's go. Even if it's only five to ten minutes, let's do something. You know you're supposed to be at work. Nah, I don't fucking feel like it. I'm going to just get some sleep. Man, sleep? Nah, we got to be here. We got to make this bread. Get the fuck up and let's go. Like, I, I ain't going to really tell on myself on a lot of these things. <laughs> but yeah, man, I've done dumb shit like that. But that was in past jobs. There are days I'll be like, man, I don't feel like going to fucking. Then them day, then one day lead to two days, to three days, and then I wonder why my check look all fucked up. I ain't had nobody to blame but me. You gotta be self accountable. But that voice in your head, it'll fuck you. It'll, it'll definitely fuck with you. That guard inside you that's chewing your ass out, yeah, he'll that that guard will fuck with you. Real talk. Real talk. I want y'all to be doing well. Even if you're working a nine to five, there's nothing wrong with that. Put in that work. Put in that work, man. If that's what you love to do, put in that fucking work. There's nothing wrong with you having a nine to five. At all. Don't let nobody tell you different. There's people out here like, man, yeah, you got a nine to five. You average. And this and that. Man, fuck you. Like, I'm only average to you. To the next person, I'm not average. I'm still out here getting money. I'm doing what I love to do. You know? And I'm a retired doing that. That is all good. That is all good. You can also be one of those people that work 9 to 5 and building your own shit. That is good, too, as long as you're doing something. You're getting out your comfort zone, man. And some people working 9 to 5, that they know that they don't want to do to get to where they want to be that's cool too but keep putting in the work get out that comfort zone do everything you have to do every single day no time wasted because when time gone all you're gonna have is stories do 
You want to be the person that got all the stories in the world and nothing to show for? Or do you want to be the person with all the stories? But you still got a lot to show for. You still doing your thing. You still living lavish. You still out here killing it. Getting out that comfort zone will definitely help in so many ways. Stop holding yourself back. That's all I wanted to say. I hope y'all having a great day today. And as always, peace, love, blessings to you all. Stay positive. Stay away from the fuckery and negativity. And also, stay away from the bullshit, man.